Today, we're getting into five things you must do before moving to Columbus, Ohio. Coming up next. Hi, I'm Erin Moore with the Moore Home Team at Key Realty here in Columbus, Ohio. Today, we're gonna to get into those five things you must do before moving to Columbus, Ohio. Now, these are five things that I wish I would have known when I moved to Columbus 18 years ago. So come join me, let's get to the list. Number one is location, location, location. Make sure to choose that right location or neighborhood. Now this could be dictated based on the phase of life you're in right now. Now do you already have a job secured here in Columbus and you wanna live close to your work? If so, I highly recommend mapping out the drive time to and from your work. You could find out that the drive time's okay or you could find out that it's a little bit longer than you anticipated. And then always remember to factor in things like rush hour, getting stuck behind an accident or potential bad weather. Now, are schools something that are important to you and your family? If so, that could definitely affect your location and something you're going to want to research. Greatschools.org is a popular website for school reviews. Now, will you be spending a lot of time with friends or family that already live in the Columbus area? If so, you may want to move to their location, or you may want to even see if you can get into their neighborhood if possible. Now, if you're getting stuck, and you're having a hard time figuring out which location's right for you, I suggest sitting down, making a list, really thinking about what's the most important thing to do. When I first moved here in 2004, I did none of those things. So tr trust me, it's something you're going to want to do. I ended up moving here and living super far from my workplace, which is some, one of the main things I did not want to do. And then when it came to the weekends, meeting up with friends, it took me forever to go and meet up with them. It actually became a jo joke between us after a while. So make sure to narrow down that right location or neighborhood. Let your realtor know so that we can help you focus in on that location or neighborhood and help make your move less stressful. Number two is find your community. Now moving to a new city can be a little bit lonely, especially if you don't already have friends or family here. You might make some friends through your workplace, but I recommend doing a little bit of research beforehand. Think about what hobbies you have, what things you might want to do after work, or what things you might want to do in the Columbus area on the weekends. You know, look at Facebook groups, watch more videos on YouTube, check out Reddit to see what people have to say there. Columbus is super diverse and has so many cool areas. So I have no doubt that with a little bit of research, you'll find your perfect community. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe. Stay in the know of everything Columbus, its suburbs, and real estate. Now let's get back to the list. Number three is a biggie. It's have a plan. When you move to Columbus, are you going to be moving into a house or are you going to be running? Because depending on that, you're going to have to plan. Now when it comes to rentals, I know a lot of rentals right now have waiting lists. So you may need to factor that into your planning. And when it comes to home purchases, our inventory is low. So it might take you a little bit longer to find that right home. So definitely have to plan when it comes to finding where you're going to live. Now, when you come to town, will you need some place to store items or maybe a pod? When it comes to storage units, those are all over town, so you might need to just find one that's close to where you're going to be living. Now, there are scenarios that might happen where you have to move to Columbus before your home or rental is ready, and I suggest extended stays. It's actually something that John and I had to do before moving into our current home. We actually had to stay in an extended stay for two months. It ended up not being so bad. We spoke to the manager. Because we were staying a little bit longer, we ended up being able to negotiate a flat rate. 
Now, also something that you'll have to plan on is your new budget. When you move to Columbus, are you moving from somewhere cheaper or are you moving from somewhere that was more expensive? And then things like thinking about even updating your driver's license. When I moved out of Ohio briefly and then I moved here to Columbus, I didn't think anything of it. I had to get an Ohio driver's license again, but I had to take the written test and I might be aging myself because it's computerized now, but that's something that I had to plan for. Now, number four is prepare for weather and roads. Here in Columbus, we do experience all four seasons. So if you're from a warm weather state, you might have to plan to purchase something like a winter coat, possibly snow boots, or you might need a whole new winter clothing wardrobe. Now on the flip side, don't go throwing away any of your shorts or your flip flops because Columbus in the summertime is super hot and humid. Now, do you already have a car or is that something you're gonna plan on having when you get to Columbus? Because one thing to keep in mind is Columbus doesn't have mass transit. We do have the Dakota bus system and that does venture out to the suburbs, but mostly on the fringe of 270. A majority of the people in Columbus drive because of our lack of mass transit. So you may have to factor in and plan to purchase a car when you get here. Now, if you already have a car and you're from down south, you might need to plan on getting all season or snow tires so that you can drive in the snow and ice. Now, also depending on where you're going to live, you need to remember snow shovels, and if you have a super long driveway, you might wanna invest in a snow plow. Now, when it comes to our roads here, you're gonna wanna plan and get to know your way around, especially to the places that you're going to a lot, because every once in a while there is an accident or there is bad weather, and knowing those alternate routes can really help you get home safely, cut down on drive time and then again in the summer times we actually have to navigate around construction and closed roads now number five is be patient home inventories are low so if you do move to columbus and find that you have to rent use that to your advantage use it to get to know columbus Go out, do all the cool things. Columbus has so many cool areas to explore. So use that. You might end up finding that, number one, right location, and number two, that right community for you. So go out, experience Columbus. You know, when I moved here, like I said, I lived on the south side of town. I lived around none of my friends, not even close to my work. You know, now I live on in the north end of town, close to suburbs where I love the restaurants, the breweries, the activities. John and I are always going out doing some fun things. So really make sure to do these five things and think about that move here to Columbus. If you wanna know more about the Columbus area, you can do that by watching this video here. You can always comment below to talk to us more about moving to Columbus or if you have any comments, you can reach out to us. We'd love to talk to you about moving to Columbus and about helping you out. Because remember, we've got you covered when moving to Columbus. We'll catch you next time.